Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm just adulting. Go ahead and subscribe. See what we're about. But with me, I have my friend Tim, and we're just discussing life post grad, uh, his experiences, like just giving advice on how do you move on from another job or how does that work? Um, yeah. Or just walk us through your. Some like family things that I that I like partly needed to move for and things like that, and also just. I was like stuck in my apartment by myself up there and like yeah yeah just just um that was kind of what led me to like kind of start looking i guess and um and i i tried to move with my company first as mm -hmm. well um it's just things like things happen yeah i know you had shared with me and, and someone else that you should never feel like you're tied to something in a sense yeah, yeah like, like in the end um like you are replaceable like everyone's replaceable and and um yeah i don't know <laughs> companies just i wouldn't i don't know what to say yeah don't don't ever feel bad for leaving a company just because um yeah because life's life circumstances happen and things like that and it's like if you, you uh, in the end you need to like do what's best for you and your family mm -hmm. and, and things like that and how did you like tell them that you're leaving because you had a, you have been there for like a, not a say a short amount of time but not a too long of time so did you feel awkward i feel a lot of yeah. people feel like that's weird like you owe something to them yeah so it was like my first time quitting a job and so that was like one thing that was like what do i do like two weeks notice and things like that mm -hmm. and there's a couple things that i learned i learned first off you don't want to quit like if you're one month into the next fiscal year, just wait for the next fiscal year because you'll get some benefits for staying with them till the next fiscal year. Um, whenever their year starts. So like, for example, my company, um, their fiscal year started in August mm -hmm. or in, in, septem or in September and I switched jobs in September. Mm -hmm. So I told them in August that I was switching jobs mm -hmm. and that was kind of, um, not not the best decision yeah <laughs> but yeah yeah um i was gonna add how about the like people feel bad like it, no like let's just be honest people feel bad like how do i tell these people that i've gone close to that like i'm leaving a job but how do you do that like, yeah the other thing is people so so people always understand the hard part is the well not, not even the hard part like it's the hr department's the one that that is that will probably take it the toughest mm -hmm. but your friends like your friends that you've worked with don't feel bad for telling them because they're not gonna feel they're, they're they're gonna be fine with it they understand that you do what's best for you like even p your teammates your project um and even like with my situation my my like my team they were like of course they, they wanted to keep me and they, they were trying to do what they could mm -hmm. um as well and i was trying to like my first option was to stay with them yeah i mean i think it's always good to to have that loyalty but at the same time in the end you you always have to make the decision that's better for you long term mm -hmm. and, and even short term at times too like like just the decision that's better for you and mm -hmm. just the opportunity that i was able to get um would bring me closer to my family and, and give me just better means in mm -hmm. general so it was just a decision that yeah that i that i felt like i had to make um, gotcha so it was just about doing what was best for you and it was honestly just a better opportunity. Do you ever, well. Yeah, go on. Yeah, oh no, yeah. sorry. I was gonna say, do you think it had any, was there ever a point at your previous job place that you felt like, okay, maybe I should be looking somewhere else? Um, or... So there wasn't, I actually really loved my last job. That was the thing, okay. like, I really enjoyed it a lot. The only thing was they, they couldn't support me in my move like mm -hmm. at the time. Um, just living in such an expensive city and things mm -hmm. like that. I didn't really have much means to like actually move myself yeah. back down here and um yeah and that was something that that the company just couldn't really help me out with at the time mm -hmm. um as i would like and, and another company was able to help me with that and um do even more for me and and i really like the fit i knew about them before mm -hmm. a little bit and um and yeah, so I decided that, that those were kind of my thoughts on moving on. It was just they would put me in the better decision or better position now and in and in the future as well. So mm -hmm. it was like something I had to do and I could get close to my family. Mm -hmm. Like um like there was just no really real real like 
security yeah. and, and the other one if yeah. I came back to Houston, especially like who knows what would happen. True. Um, just being in Seattle and everything, like my, my project and everything being in Seattle. Um, how yeah, how everything would work um, when COVID ended. True. So that was kind of um, one of my main decisions on, on switching there. Understandable. Do what's best for you, man. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I was just curious to know for people who are out there, maybe there are people who are looking for their next phase or something. How do they make sure that their next job is their right job? Because they're saying that they're about to take, that's a big risk to yeah. leave somewhere, you know? Yeah. So it's always like a big risk. You're trying something new. Um, definitely what I would say is do your research on the company. Mm -hmm. um, read the job description, like make sure it's, um, Make sure it's something that you that you are interested. You in actually doing want to do that. You want to do that. That's always even. That, that's the other thing I would say. Like even if you're just applying for a job for the first time, make sure that what the job description says is something that you want to do at least. Mm -hmm. Because um, yeah, it sucks to be in a job that you don't want to do. Trust me, I I have been in that situation, but my last job wasn't that situation. Yeah. Luckily, luckily I was doing stuff that I love doing, and I'm still doing it. So um, that's good. But definitely um. Yeah, if what I'm doing now wasn't, like if my new job didn't offer me the same mm -hmm. um, sort of work that I wanted to do, I definitely would have um, would have had to look somewhere else because oh, I definitely wow. think it's, it's important. That's how important it is yeah, to I think, you. I think that's the most important right. thing. Like even if, um, even if you're getting paid like double somewhere else, mm -hmm. depending on how much, but, but like at, at a point it's like, it's important to not be miserable in where you're working and that's something that was important to me because mm -hmm. I, I yeah there was um, another offer that I got that was a lot more money but mm -hmm. it was just you wouldn't what, enjoy what you it was just yeah what, what's more important to me like mm -hmm. what what sort of environment um, like I was in consulting before I'm in consulting again now and it's like something that I that I liked um, consulting as a software engineer mm -hmm. and I get to do that again and and it's kind of more comfortable for me, something I enjoy doing, like seeing new situations, mm -hmm. like shorter projects rather than being Long like a term. legacy, uh, yeah. <laughs> legacy <laughs> application <laughs> for like 12 months and just doing updates gradually and things like that. Yeah, it's kind of cool seeing new things for me. That's something that I really want to do, mm -hmm. especially now. I'm um, just like being in the first like couple years of, or few years of my career, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely something that that I wanted to do seeing like yeah. in that consulting world, which which is mm -hmm. one of the reasons why I chose uh, being where I am now. Gotcha, gotcha. Rather than the other options. Yeah. No, yeah, I get it. I think I mean of course everybody's different. Some people it's money, some people they wanna like what you they wanna actually be good at what yeah. you're doing. And that's important. I think at the end of the day you're the one who's gonna have to go face that computer and go and do <laughs> that job no matter what it is. So you want to be sure that you actually like it. And then it's also understandable. Everybody's at a different phase at their life. So not everyone can go and say, okay, I'm moving on to the next thing. They need to stay where they're at, at some for some time, you know. And also it's about learning different things. Because, I mean, that might be the right thing, but it may not also be the right time. So it's about finding that right time, you know. And just never feeling like there's pressure, I guess, to say. But, yeah. You know when it's time. Yeah, I think I think it's definitely yeah a thing where it's like um, yeah you'll if if, uh, if yeah if things aren't working working out like the way that you want or like with your family or whatever whatever it is like whether it's at work even if if the case was that I wasn't do, like doing stuff that I enjoyed and I didn't see an opportunity to do that where I was then I would have probably looked to switch as well but mm -hmm. um, yeah family situations. If you're not enjoying it definitely the most important thing is to enjoy what you're doing i feel like because mm -hmm. work is such a big part of your life like honestly whether you like, like it or not like yeah especially working from home like yeah like you're saying like work is such a big part of like eight to five nine to five whatever um that's your you're working mm -hmm. monday through friday 40 hours a week so it's like it's a big part of your life. It's not something you want to be miserable 40 hours of your week doing. Yeah. So, yeah, so that, that's why I'm saying, yeah, definitely, um, no matter what the situation is, just make sure it's the right situation for you. Make mm -hmm. sure it's something you're enjoying and things mm -hmm. like that. Um, but yeah. Definitely. Um, thanks for sharing that, Tim. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs>